All right, let's head into this Toys R Us here. Man, this place is massive. It looks like they're refreshing. I don't know if they're not selling. It's never looked better. Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. And look, it's Street Fighter 2. It's actually Street Fighter 1. Duke. Uh, I was wondering if that's actually an open box or not. Oh, here we go. Okay, Merman. There she is. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. RyRatCan33, Old IT Guy, Princess Kagali, John Joker, Michael Traverso, Christopher Herndon, Snell World, Thomas Meyer, Budrick Porter, and Joseph Michaels. Thank you for all your support, everybody. It really means a lot to me and really does help the channel to keep going. Hey guys, just before the episode starts, I thought it might be a good idea to uh, recap what we actually picked up from uh, the last episode. Let's have a look. All right, guys, so here we are. And I uh, didn't show this on camera too well, so I wanted to make up for that today. So first thing out of the bag. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Check it out, everybody. It's Battlefront 2, Arc Trooper Umbra Operative. Wow, that's crazy. Another clone trooper, but heck, always happy to get cool-looking clone troopers, especially when they look this cool. Look at that. I love the black dot armor with the, um, you know, uh, what is that, like really, really deep yellow um you know war paint very tribal you know what i mean like like you know, it's almost like skull features on the helmet now uh, tomeo morrison has never looked better honestly he well he has but honestly i love the detail they can get into the sculpt here wow look at that your basic uh, arc trooper but still he looks amazing the way he's been painted out here like this incredible sweet so yeah first one down is the battlefront 2 arc trooper officer then, whoo, 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 yes. Been waiting for this one for quite some time. It is, yep, Ahsoka Tano, as played by Rosario Dawson. Nice. Love it. Seriously, her inclusion to the series was a welcome, welcome addition. Oh, my gosh. Love the, um, you know, the uh, the headpiece. I love the way she sculpted. Uh, yeah, she has that look of, of Rosario Dawson for sure. So, yeah, wonderful designs. Can't believe they finally, finally got... Ahsoka Tano in the collection. Sweet. Awesome. And the final pickup for that uh, last episode is, and this is the one I've been waiting for. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Echo. Yes. Echo from the Bad Batch is finally part of my collection. I can't believe it. I'm a huge fan of Rebels and, of course, um, the Clone Wars and, of course, the Bad Batch. So, yeah, I been, have been waiting for this. The only one I'm missing now out of the whole set, if you will, is uh, Omega. I don't know what's going on. She was short-packed. And uh, yeah, this is the only... Omega is, is the only one left. But I'm super, super excited to finally get Echo. Uh, he's the only one who we've been really waiting for. I think his, um, in, his, his interface is a little bit bent. But that's okay. We can fix that. Awesome. Finally getting Echo in the collection. Sweet! This is awesome. So guys, what a wonderful pickup from GameStop. Guys, I gotta tell you, I'm super excited to get both of these Bad Batch figures. Uh, sorry, the uh, the Bad Batch and the Mandalorian, and the Mandalorian for you. Heck, I'm glad I got all three of these amazing figures. This is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, well, without further ado, let's get on with this episode. All right, let's head to Walmart. All right, over here, man, the entire Transformer section is completely cleared out. It's crazy. It's some REDs core classes that's about it nothing else really too impressive to look at king shazam we got some uh titan hero series wonder woman it's actually uh dr fate and wonder woman cosplay yeah batman and not much else more jokers titan hero series on this side yeah it's pretty much exactly the same way we've seen it uh every time we've come here Lando Calrissian, a whole bunch of them. We have Aura Singh, always good to see her. Book 10, and of course I dropped it again. Great move, Jay. Yeah, Mace Windu, very cool to see him. But that seems to be about it. Nobody else that we're really taking a look at yet. We do have Elias, Braun Strowman, Damian Priest, Dexter Loomis, Bobby Lashley, yeah, Dustin Rhodes, Scorpio Sky, uh, Britt Baker, that's about it, Stephanie McMahon, uh, Santana Ortiz, yeah, 
We've got Riho over here, Master Universe, Fisto, Ram Man. Uh, where is it? Power Attack, Fremont. Who's Fremont? That year. Uh, $39.99 for the Sky Sleds. Oh, here we go. Okay, Merman. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> awesome to see her here. Finally, we got Tila. Excellent. Man, I was hoping that we'd be able to catch at least one of them. All right, so we were able to grab Tila today. That's sweet. And there is a Merman. Two Mermans. That's not bad. Oh, another Tila. Nice. All right, sweet. She does look good, doesn't she? Freaking awesome. Love the head sculpt. That is excellent. Captain of the Guard Tila. That's traditional. Love it. That is the best. Awesome. So two Tilas and two Mermans. Looks like the power of uh, the other Mass Universe uh, figures, um, Barbarian Skeletor and um, Viking... Sorry, Viking He-Man. Sorry, Barbarian, Barbarian Skeletor and Viking He-Man. Looks like they were already claimed by a couple of other collectors, more than likely. All right. And then the rest is just uh, more of the other figures we've always seen. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> let's pick these guys up. Whew, what a hunt today, guys. This is amazing. Huge shout out to um, Kid Chuckle for the heads up. This is amazing. Thank you, Kid Chuckle. Really appreciate it, brother. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you got to look everywhere, guys. Over here by the uh, Disney section. Uh, lots of blade blades over here. But... Right here, <laughs> somebody moved this Obi-Wan and this Ahsoka over here. Crazy. Yep. Definitely not in the right place. Always got to look. And over here we have a random Scorpionok. But again, I'm not spending money on this guy. He's way too expensive. All right, guys. Let's get going. Looks like they're restocking here. Jurassic World, Tyrannosaurus, Chomp and Roar. Yeah, some other figures. Unicard games. And on this side, looks like we have Jurassic World Sound and Slash. And... Yeah, not much else that we can take a look at on this side. Or Jurassic World Sound and Slash. Alright guys, let's get going. Here in the graveyard, mostly Nerf collections, some Minecraft stuff, but we see the Battle Cats here, they're down to 19 bucks. Might scan one in and see if it's actually dropped any more in price. $39.97 for Prince Adam Sky Sleds. That's a lot of them, holy crap. Over here we see some random Marvel Legends figures like Arcade. There's a Batman over there. Very random. But yeah, you always gotta check the graveyard, guys, because every now and then you'll find something that you just never expect. It's kind of the way it is these days. Yep, yeah, like I said, Makari, Ajak, another Ajak, Sprite. Yeah, you just never know what you're gonna find in these sections. All right, we'll take a couple of them and scan them in and see if they uh, come up as anything. All right, guys, let's get going. Oh, man, it is a scorcher today. Holy crap, this is crazy. But with the heat comes new revelations, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> we got Tila, Captain of the Guard. This is freaking awesome, man. Holy crap. Huge thanks to uh, Kid Chuckle for, uh, for, the, for the heads up on this. This is awesome. Haven't been able to find her anywhere, so dang. So lucky. This is great. Again, luck has nothing to do with it. Just really good friends. Thank you, Kid Chuckle. Really appreciate this, brother. All right, guys. I'm off to the next location. And I'll see you guys there. Whew! Captain of the Guard Tila, guys. Finally. Finally. I'm stopping here over at uh, Scarborough Town Center Walmart. I'm going to pop in here and see what they got. Wish me luck. Yeah, it looks like they're doing some construction here. But Walmart's still open. All right, let's head on inside. Looks like they're refreshing. Brand new stock. Hot Wheels, Barbie, Disneyland, Pixar, color changing cars. Nothing too collectible though. Mostly Barbies, Jurassic Worlds. Yeah, nothing really collectible at all. Adult collectible anyway. All right, let's keep going. All right, over here by the Transformers section, not much. We see a couple more. Ooh, we do have an extra suit spike. That's pretty cool. Sixteen ninety-seven. Nice. Holy crap! There's a lot of him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Cool. Might pick up one of these guys. 
we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's actually a really good one. Don't mind that. Um, there's a brawn over here. That's not bad. Always good to see him. Grimlock. Yeah, Galvatron. Good to see him. But nothing really standing out other than that. Um, there is a Rekgar. More sweeps. Studio Series A6 Cup. But yeah, that seems to be about the majority of it. <laughs> yeah, mostly bulkheads, uh, sweeps, and yeah, nobody else really too drastic. Yeah, I think that's about it. All right, and over here we do have all the uh, or the Eternals, <laughs> Fastos, yeah, Sprite, Durig. Everybody. We also have some Doctor Strange figures here. Astral Form, Wong, Icarus. Yep. Not bad. Alright, let's keep going. And more Titan heroes, if you will. We do have that Joker. That's not so bad. Everybody else that we've seen before. Nobody else really that interesting. A lot of Batmo a lot of Batman stuff. Holy crap, the movie tie-ins? I don't know if they're not selling or if they're a hard sell, I don't know. Crazy. More Titan Hero series, goblins. We do have Dark Star there. Always good to see her. Black Tom Cassidy. And more of the Multiverse of Madness wave. And not too much else to, uh, to get excited about. There is this Tentive 4 here. Huh. Weird. Might as well scan it in and see if it uh, comes up as on sale or not. I doubt it, though. Star Wars, Mission Fleet... Yeah, not much else. Oh, we do have one Obi-Wan Kenobi here. That's always a good uh, to see. Always good to see that. And we have Lando, IG-11. Anakin Skywalker. Lando, Lando, Lando. Lando, Lando, IG-11, Lando. Imperial Emperor, Lando. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing else on this side. And all the wrestling figures are the same. Ember Moon, The Rock, uh, Isaiah Sweet, Elias, uh, Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, nobody else really too exciting. Kenny Omega, Ortiz, Riho, Dustin Rhodes, Britt Baker, Miro, Dustin Rhodes, Britt Baker, Dustin Rhodes. That battle pack, both versions, Riho. Yeah, some He-Man minis. I think that's about it. Nothing else to really write home about. I'm sweating right now, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Um, yeah, that's about it. On this side, we do have more Master Universe Netflix series. Ram and Clam Trap down to five dollars. Wow. All right, if anybody's looking for $5 Ram Mans and Clamp Champs, they are here. And it's just them. No Hordax. Nobody else. Unfortunately. They do have some Masterverse figures here. They have Stinkor, Scareglow, and Fisto. That's it. All right, guys, I think that's it. A couple of bath Battle Cats and Pathors on sale for 19 bucks. And that seems to be about it. Alright guys, let's get going. Alright guys, well, didn't really find much there. There was that spike uh, with Wiki. Pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, 16 bucks. I'll probably pick him up on sale when he, uh, when he goes on sale. Alright guys, I'm off to the next location. I'll see you guys there. Well, I was looking over here by the wrestling figures and take a look what I found, guys. <laughs> Sunman finally found him in the wild. He looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Definitely a figure worth picking up. I've already got a couple on order though, unfortunately. But that is a really good price. Yeah, man. Sunman. Good to see him. Awesome. Well, if anybody needs them, they also have Clawful here, which is another awesome figure to pick up. So, yeah, if you guys are looking for these two figures, they're here at Pickering. Walmart. Alright guys, let's get going. Alright, 
let's head into Toys R Us. Holy crap, this one is huge. All right, let's head into this Toys R Us here at uh, Sherwood Gardens. Man, this place is massive. All right, let's head on inside. Oh yeah, this is definitely one of the bigger Toys R Uses around. It's just freaking crazy. All right, let's head to the uh, toy section. <laughs> let's head to the action figure section. <laughs> Can't get enough of this Captain Rex. He looks amazing. Holy crap. Look at that. So cool. Love the Clone Wars. Their Lego section here is like crazy. Just top notch. More Nintendo stuff, which I heard that they're start, gonna start phasing out, which will be sad. And look, it's Street Fighter 2. It's actually Street Fighter 1. But they have several games here. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. Oh, all of the reaction figures, but no one knew. That I can see here. There's April O'Neil. Worf. Green Ranger. That's always good to see. Mm, nobody else really standing out though. Everybody else we've seen already. Alright, let's keep going. Duke! Yeah, they got the Marvel section kind of over here. They got a lot of the Eternals on this side still. $36.99. Crazy prices. Just insane. Finally got some clearances on a few of them. I wonder if that's actually... I wonder if that's the wrong price, because it says right here it's got a clearance. See? Legends Eternal Figures, twenty five eighty eight. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I might actually really consider th picking up Thena. She's the only one that's actually an exclusive here at uh, Toys R Us, so definitely going to think about picking her up for that price. All right, guys. Let's keep going. Over here by the Star Wars section, mostly plushies. Nothing really too spectacular. They do have a whole bunch of Paz Vizslas, which are carbonized versions, super expensive, $56.99. Then all the carbons versions, the uh, Scout Trooper, $42.99. Q0, I don't even know why he's that price, but we do have Antuck Merrick. If anybody's looking for him, or really any of these guys, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to trade. $36.99 for Antuck Merrick. Ooh, he's, he's actually, he's actually gone, low, gone, gone a little bit lower. That's a really good price, actually, for Antuck Merrick. That's not bad. Remember, this is Canadian prices. <laughs> So it's actually better for the U.S. dollar. So $37.99 for Galen Erzo and $39.99 for uh, uh, Chirwit Imwe. Crazy. whole bunch of droids, but only C-3PO it looks like. No Boba Fetts. Yeah, no, but no Boba Fetts. Just C-3PO's. Cantina Navarra set playset. And of course, $79.99. I told you, the one over at uh, at uh, GameStop, just uh, just across the street, much better price. $79.99 for 10 to 4 Yep. Pretty crazy. Imperial Death Trooper, Land of Clarisian, and Grief Karga. Oh, there is the armor. That's a good find. Yeah. <laughs> Crit Angle, five fifty eight. Crazy price. That's nuts. If you want to have a, a generic dude in the suit, I mean, he's right there. That's not bad. Pretty cool. And then over here, we do have Loki... What? No, that's wrong. <laughs> that's not the right price. That's not the right price either. There it is. Marvel Legends, thirty nine, thirty three ninety nine. Great price for these guys. Honestly, that is a really good price. Tiger is down on on, on clearance, twenty seven ninety nine, and the Vintage uh, Rogue is also seventeen ninety nine. Very good prices. And here we have the Fantastic Four. It looks like we got a ton of them in the back. I think it's pretty much everybody on sale for twenty seven ninety eight. Good prices. Excellent price. And we have everybody else we've seen already. Gore from the uh, Love and Thunder Wave. Good to see them. Pretty much a whole whole bunch of clearances for um, the block for uh, What If Legends. Wow, Ironheart's on clearance twenty four forty eight. Honestly, she's a real, one of the better figures in that line. I might consider picking up another one of her. Look at how many there are. That's crazy. We got the Scarlet Witch finally on sale thirty one thirty one ninety eight, and the Hydra Stumper finally down to fifty five. 98 and Modoc is on sale for 67.97. Yeah. All right guys, let's keep going. This section, I don't see anybody we haven't seen already for the last couple of years and even the last couple of months. Pretty much everybody is saying all the Batman figures from the movie. There's that in queue as Batman Beyond. In Quay? Hmm, I've never heard of that. I guess it was one episode. Got neat. Wonder Woman, Gold Label Edition, Bazmat, Batman has, has Matt Suit, Martian Manhunter, not the Gold Label, Lex, Lo Lex Luthor with his Throne, Power Suit Edition, Lex Luthor, Aquaman, good old Arthur, good to see him, Blight, 
the Joker without his face. Well, with his face, but in a different way. Robin, Batgirl. Unmasked, Batwoman. Dark Detective, and that's about it. Nothing else that we haven't seen. The Build a Horse figures, always fun to see them. The Titan Joker and the two packs. Cool. All right, let's keep going. Over here we see Panthor, Flock Panthor, $64.99, really too expensive. $29.99 for the regular Panthor, $44.99 for the Land Shark, $42.99 for both the, sorry, for the Prince Adam Sky Slide, $44.99 for the Wind Raider, and $100 for, uh, for Castle Grayskull. Yeah, I guess it is what it is, guys. All right, let's keep going. Here we do have Faker, $46.99. Uh, Snake Attack, Clamp Champ, Fisto, Evil Lin. None of the new figures, though. Nothing on line on Wave seven, 8 or 9. This is the best value, honestly. Savage He-Man and Orko. Orko the Great, man. The Oracle. Battle Cat. All these Baronesses. Now on sale at 45 48 That's actually a good price. But, I mean, who... <laughs> I think everyone's already got a Baroness right now, but look how many there are. My god, there's got to be 30 or 40 of them here. It's just ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah, Joy Your Serpent, we got Storm Shadow and Baroness. A whole bunch of crossovers for the Power Rangers. Yeah, that Family of the Bust Together 2 pack. Andros is now on clearance at $27.98. And we got Roblox at clearance at $24.48. Alright, guys, let's get going. Over here with the Transformers, there's a ton of Rhinoxes here. Um, a Cyclonus Legacy. Oh man, see, this is the problem. Uh, I was wondering if that's actually an open box or not. That's just terrible. Yep, Galvatron, Optimus Prime, Blur. And we do have, I believe it's Galvatron. Yep. Oop, Studio Series Cup. Awesome to see him in these colors. I haven't seen Cliff Jumper since that first time I found him. I think I, lo I, I think I missed the boat on that one. Gonna have to order him somewhere else. Yep. And forty four ninety nine for lift ticket. Crazy. All right, guys. I think that's it. Let's get out of here. It always amazes me to see manga in uh, Toys R Us. That's hilarious. Awesome stuff though. But check it out. They have uh, some Minecraft novelizations. Very very cool. Very neat. Some Dungeons and Dragons down here too. Holy crap. That's crazy. Good to see it. Berserk, full volumes, anthologies, Sailor V and Sailor Moon. Very cool. Yeah. And a whole bunch of different manga collections, anthologies. And of course, the explicit warning. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get going. Oh, uh, guys, check it out. Sergeant Creel has actually come in. Holy crap, this is crazy. Ah, there he is. I'm so confused with their idea. Like, what's with the plastic? I thought they said they were going to get rid of plastic. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. I actually really like the way this looks. This one right now is $39.99. Yeah. So, this is awesome, guys. Not going to pick up today, but they have a couple of them here, so hopefully we'll, we'll, have, some, uh, we'll have some luck. Um, and I'm just going to... Not aim at everybody, but I'm gonna go over here so nobody can see. Sorry, boy. <laughs> yeah, they've got uh, Thor over there. They've got um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Throne Room, uh, Boba Fett, and they've even got uh, the, the Marvel Legends uh, Captain America. Can I see that one? That would be great. Holy crap! This is crazy. Oh wow, he's forty four ninety nine. That's nuts. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Good to see him. He is, he, honestly, that is the best sculpt for Cap that I've ever seen. He looks amazing. Holy crap. Huge thanks to the employees here over at uh, Toys R Us. They are awesome. Remember, guys, treat everybody here nicely, and they'll treat you nicely. That's the important thing. All right, guys, that's it for me. Let's get going. All right, guys, didn't see any uh, new Joes there, but we did see that Captain America, which was awesome, and uh, Sergeant Creel. A uh, little pricey right now. I'm going to probably wait for until they get a sale or... Maybe until I get some more money. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm heading back to the lair. Let's, uh, let's see what we picked up today. I'll see you back there.